I can say that um, the ocean and the reef is uh, my father and my mother. Because whenever I need food, I go to the reef. Whenever I need money, I go to the reef. You know, when people come here, we just uh, turn to the sea and search for food. We don't go to the market and other places. That's why we say that uh, the ocean and the reefs are our father's and mother. The Great Sea Reef itself is the third largest or the third longest uh, barrier reef system in the world. It's located in the north part of Fiji, traversing uh, the two main islands in Fiji called Vanolewu and Vitilewu. I mean, it's a very important seascape uh, and a very important uh, reef system for a number of reasons because it essentially supplies, I guess, the majority of um, seafood and uh, reef fish species, uh, more or less considered as the uh, fish basket. Uh, of Fiji. It's also a very important habitat for foraging and nesting species of highly endangered uh, marine species such as turtles, uh, as well as foraging grounds and nursery habitats for um, sharks and rays. The sea is part of our identity. Everything comes from uh, the sea, the food, income, and everything, we just depend on the sea. And uh, that's why we always encourage everybody from generation to generation to preserve and use uh, all the things from the sea wisely, just to cater for everything that we need. Uh, the biggest threats to the, the Great Sea Reef uh, includes uh, over-harvesting, um, pollution, uh, and uh, of course the impacts of climate change. Okay, overfishing and uh, destructive fishing practices uh, not only decreases uh, fish populations, but it also um, uh, destroys somewhat the habitats that these fish species depend upon. Climate change exacerbates these issues, accelerates these challenges or these threats to a much higher um, impact. The government of Fiji, the Ministry of Fisheries and other local um, agencies work with WWF Pacific to work with communities uh, and so we work very closely with communities uh, to support their management priorities. Uh, so for example, we, um, we help them understand the nature and level of their fishing activities, you know, what species they're catching. Uh, they're catching, you know, too many of specific species, what are the impacts of those species to the broader environment. And then we help facilitate conversations on how the communities can manage uh, their fisheries better for the long-term uh, future of those uh, fisheries and ecosystems. On a personal level, I would uh, like to see that the, uh, the Great Sea Reef continues to sustain uh, the communities, um, you know, their livelihoods, uh, their children's livelihoods, and that they will continue to be an intrinsic link to the resources and to the, the reef system and the, um, the species and the fish that uh, depend upon it. WWF in its role is playing a big part of this by uh, looking at a um, four provincial wide uh, management structure. Uh, and this is being done with collaboration, of course, because there are multiple players, uh, there are multiple organizations that are looking at both the, the management of the reef system, but also the use. Uh, so we hope that um, uh, with the process that WWF is leading and is uh, facilitating, uh, that in due time there will be a uh, management authority, uh, either embedded within government or a standalone uh, entity, uh, that will be looking at uh, both conserving and management of the system, but also that the community's lives that depend on it are being uh, sustained. <laughs> <laughs>